Are you seeking comprehensive knowledge on the mechanism of action of lecosamide? In this video, we provide an in-depth guide to understanding how lecosamide improves epilepsy care. With a focus on delivering quality information within 160 words, this introduction will captivate and engage readers looking for accurate and concise information. Lecosamide is a unique anti-epileptic drug that works by selectively enhancing the slow inactivation of voltage-gated sodium channels. By doing so, it decreases the excitability of hyperexcitable neurons, effectively reducing seizure activity. Understanding the intricate details of this mechanism is crucial for healthcare professionals and patients alike. Our video explores the specific steps involved in the mechanism of action of lecosamide, shedding light on the drug's ability to improve epilepsy care. We debunk misconceptions, ensure accurate information, and present the data in a user-friendly manner. Whether you are a medical professional looking to enhance your knowledge or a patient seeking to understand your prescribed medication, this comprehensive guide is a must-read. Understanding Epilepsy and its Treatment Options Epilepsy is a neurological disorder characterized by recurrent seizures, which are caused by abnormal electrical activity in the brain. It affects millions of people worldwide, with varying degrees of severity. Managing epilepsy involves a multidimensional approach, including lifestyle modifications, seizure control, and the use of anti-epileptic drugs, AEDs. AEDs are the cornerstone of epilepsy treatment, and a wide range of medications is available to help control seizures. These medications work by targeting different mechanisms in the brain to reduce the likelihood of seizure activity. Lecosamide, a newer anti-epileptic drug, has gained attention for its unique mechanism of action and its ability to improve epilepsy care. The Mechanism of Action of Lecosamide Lecosamide stands out among anti-epileptic drugs due to its selective enhancement of the slow inactivation of voltage-gated sodium channels. Sodium channels play a crucial role in the generation and propagation of action potentials, which are essential for the normal functioning of neurons. In hyperexcitable neurons, such as those seen in epilepsy, these sodium channels become dysregulated, leading to increased neuronal excitability and seizure activity. Lecosamide works by enhancing the slow inactivation of these voltage-gated sodium channels, effectively decreasing neuronal excitability. This unique mechanism allows for targeted modulation of hyperexcitable neurons while minimizing effects on normal neuronal activity. By reducing the likelihood of abnormal electrical discharges in the brain, lecosamide helps to control seizures and improve overall epilepsy care. Efficacy of lecosamide in seizure control Clinical trials have demonstrated the efficacy of lecosamide in reducing seizure frequency and improving seizure control. In a multi-center, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial, lecosamide was shown to significantly reduce the frequency of partial-onset seizures compared to placebo. The study enrolled patients who had previously failed to respond to other AEDs, highlighting the potential of lecosamide as an adjunctive therapy in difficult-to-treat cases. Moreover, lecosamide has shown promising results in the treatment of refractory status epilepticus, a life-threatening condition characterized by prolonged seizures. In a retrospective study, lecosamide was found to be effective in terminating refractory status epilepticus when used as part of a multimodal approach. These findings highlight the potential of lecosamide in managing even the most challenging epilepsy cases. Dosage and administration of lecosamide. Lecosamide is available in multiple formulations, including oral and intravenous preparations, allowing for flexible dosing options. The recommended starting dose for adults is 50 mg twice daily, which can be titrated up to a maximum of 400 mg per day based on individual response and tolerability. The oral solution is particularly useful for patients who have difficulty swallowing tablets or require precise dosing adjustments. For pediatric patients, the dosing of lecosamide is weight-based, with a recommended starting dose of 1 mg per kilogram twice daily. The dose can be titrated based on the child's response and tolerability, with a maximum dose of 12 mg per kilogram per day. It is important to note that lecosamide should always be used under the guidance of a healthcare professional who can determine the appropriate dose and monitor for any potential side effects. Common Side Effects and Safety Profile of Lecosamide Like any medication, lecosamide may be associated with side effects. The most commonly reported adverse reactions include dizziness, headache, and nausea. These side effects are generally mild to moderate in severity and tend to resolve with continued use or dose adjustments. It is important for patients to communicate any concerning side effects to their healthcare provider to ensure appropriate management. In rare cases, lecosamide may be associated with more serious adverse effects, 
such as cardiac conduction abnormalities or psychiatric symptoms. These events are rare but should be monitored for, particularly in patients with pre-existing cardiac or psychiatric conditions. Regular follow-up visits with a healthcare professional can help to detect and manage any potential safety concerns associated with leucosamide use. Leucosamide in special populations, pediatric and elderly patients. The use of leucosamide in special populations, such as pediatric and elderly patients, requires careful consideration. In pediatric patients, leucosamide has shown efficacy and tolerability similar to that seen in adults. However, dose adjustments based on weight and close monitoring of side effects are essential to ensure safety and optimize therapeutic outcomes. Elderly patients may require dose adjustments due to changes in drug metabolism and potential comorbidities. Renal function should be assessed regularly, as leucosamide is primarily excreted by the kidneys. Additionally, potential drug interactions should be considered, as elderly patients often take multiple medications for various medical conditions. Close collaboration between healthcare professionals is crucial to ensure safe and effective use of leucosamide in the elderly population. Drug interactions and contraindications of leucosamide. Leucosamide has a relatively low potential for drug interactions compared to some other anti-epileptic drugs. However, it is important to consider potential interactions when prescribing leucosamide alongside other medications. Leucosamide is primarily metabolized by CYP2C19, with minimal involvement of other cytochrome P450 enzymes. Therefore, drugs that induce or inhibit CYP2C19 may affect leucosamide concentrations and should be used with caution. Additionally, leucosamide should be used with caution in patients with significant cardiac conduction abnormalities or a history of atrial fibrillation. The drug's effect on cardiac conduction should be monitored, particularly in patients with pre-existing cardiac conditions or those taking medications that can affect cardiac conduction. Leucosamide is contraindicated in patients with known hypersensitivity to the drug or its components. Leucosamide as an adjunctive therapy in epilepsy management. Leucosamide has shown particular efficacy as an adjunctive therapy in the management of epilepsy. When added to existing anti-epileptic regimens, leucosamide has been shown to significantly reduce seizure frequency and improve overall seizure control. Its unique mechanism of action, coupled with its favorable safety profile, makes it a valuable tool in the management of epilepsy, particularly in patients who have failed to respond adequately to other AEDs. It is important to note that leucosamide is not intended as a monotherapy for epilepsy and should always be used in combination with other anti-epileptic drugs. The choice of adjunctive therapy depends on various factors, including the patient's individual response, tolerability, and potential drug interactions. A healthcare professional can guide the selection of appropriate adjunctive therapy and monitor treatment efficacy. Conclusion. The role of leucosamide in improving epilepsy care. Leucosamide offers a unique mechanism of action that enhances the slow inactivation of voltage-gated sodium channels, effectively reducing neuronal excitability and improving seizure control. Its efficacy as an adjunctive therapy in the management of epilepsy, including refractory cases and refractory status epilepticus, highlights its potential to improve epilepsy care. Understanding the mechanism of action, dosage and administration, common side effects, and potential drug interactions associated with leucosamide is essential for healthcare professionals and patients alike. By providing accurate and comprehensive information, this video aims to empower individuals with the knowledge needed to make informed decisions about their epilepsy care. With ongoing research and advancements in epilepsy treatment, leucosamide represents a valuable addition to the armamentarium of anti-epileptic drugs. By targeting hyperexcitable neurons with its unique mechanism of action, Leucosamide offers hope for better seizure control and improved quality of life for individuals living with epilepsy.